Okay, it's been forever since I've done a video, so I thought I'd do one real quick while the kids are in the tub. Oh, I got flour on my face from bread. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay. Um, there, so much has happened that I'm going to break it down and do multiple videos. Um, one of the things I want to talk about this morning, uh, one of my Facebook friends is having issues and she's trying to heal and she's in a toxic situation. I don't know the details and don't want to know. Um, but she's trying to figure out how to forgive, how to let it go. And it reminded me of my journey way back in the beginning of the year. It seems like forever ago when everybody kept saying, let it go, let it go, let it go. And you're like, what does that even mean? So let's discuss what it means. Um, first of all, if you're saying, I don't know what it means, chances are you aren't ready to let it go. Second of all, you're going to need to sit down with yourself and think about it. Whatever thoughts pop into your head, sit with them, give them some attention, and see what happens as a result. For me, what it ultimately meant was I had too many attachments. Okay, you had to be willing to do whatever it takes to heal. That means losing everything. You have to literally give everything to God. Everything you care about, everything you hate, everything. You have to hand it all over. Only then can you let it go. Only then can the healing process begin? And it's a long journey. Don't expect it to be overnight. The processes I'm creating uh, that I'm actually using on, on others as well. I do the process here in, in, you know, in my meditations. It can take weeks, possibly even months for, for, that healing to finally fully be seen in my daily life. It'll come, but it's a process. You have to allow yourself to heal. You have to be willing to, to just let the pain go. Sometimes without even realizing it, we identify as that pain because we've had it for so long. We don't need to hurt. If you can let it go, finally, you'll understand that lesson. But getting there is the hard part. As you can see, it looks like I've been crying because I had issues this morning. <laughs> I was like, really? <laughs> Somebody sent me a, uh, um, a, a, a picture that reminded me of a very emotional scene from a, one of my favorite shows. And I, I was crying at the picture because... That scene was just so, such an intense scene that it just brought back the scene in my head. But crying is cleansing. It's a good thing to cry. It is not a sign of weakness. The fact that it has been demonized by this society that's doing everything wrong should tell you that. The herd is not your friend. Not in these days. I'm not sure it ever has been. 
at this point, if you want to heal, you have to be the pioneer. You have to pave the way. There are many others paving the way already that I, I have globbed onto, but their ways aren't fully for me. And that point was actually made for me a couple of days ago. One of my favorite uh, people to follow, Pamela Erlin, she's doing a um, a class um, teaching people ancient lessons. Nine pages of application to fill out to try to get into that class. I tried. I didn't get in. Two, maybe three days ago, she did a video that not everybody needs their own or need, needs to follow a modality. Meaning, not everybody fits into the templates that exist out there. I am pioneering my template right now. And I am using that template to help others. But just like with other people out there, that doesn't mean my template will also work for you. All I can do is share the template I'm creating as I'm creating it. What I'm willing to share anyway. Because some of this is going into my book. And that's one of the reasons I haven't done a video. I'm trying to figure out what's going to go into the book and what what I'm willing to share for free. Because my time is worth something. And this is taking a lot of time. And I'm having to figure out what works and what doesn't. What kind of timelines work. And the interesting thing is, just because it took that long for me, doesn't mean it's going to take that long for others. It took me six weeks to clear those storms out of my head. Now I'm doing it for others in a day, two days, because I've refined the process. What took me months of work on myself is taking less than a week to help others. Now, the help that I'm giving others just alleviates the pressure a little bit so they can open their own eyes. But it's the best I can do. We each have to do our own work. But sometimes we need a little help on trying to figure out what that is. Kids are done in the tub. <laughs> it isn't easy stepping on that path. What was it Frodo Baggins said? Be careful when you step out your door because you never know where your feet are going to take you. That's what this journey is like. If you want easy, you're in the wrong place. If you want rewarding, keep going. Keep going. You got this. You're here for a reason. We've got your back. Okay? Keep going. Love and light.